I'm gonna do a full what's in the bag for this year. My bag is almost exactly where I want it. There's a couple small changes that I'll tell you guys about. Let's get right into it. Before I set this up, I'm actually going to show you guys one thing. So it is very important that you carry a tripod in your bag. And the reason for that is I like to video my swing almost every time I hit the range just because I wanna know if what I'm feeling is real. I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty cool to just be on here with normal clothes on and just like with my golf tan and everything. I mean, I just got the whole setup, but TaylorMade sent us these vessel bags that they have the TaylorMade embroidery on everything. They're super cool. For my wedges, I have the Milled Grind 3 in the all black finish. Oh. <sighs> Milled Grind 3 wedges, all black finish with the raw face. And I have thoroughly enjoyed these wedges. They're just now starting to get broke in. I've had them for, I think about a month is what it's been. And I've hit them a ton. I actually have a little bit different lofts in these. So I start with 50 and then I go 54 and then I go 58 degrees. The reason for that is I used to have 52, 56 and 60, but I just didn't really like the height and the trajectory that I would launch them at. So I just got, I just got a little bit less loft and I absolutely love these. And in the shafts, I actually have Dynamic Gold S400. I believe these are the composite shafts. So they're, they're graphite and steel. The reason I went with the S400s, I just feel like I can feel the club head a little better with these the launch angle is much better and i just love the way the ball comes off so that's the reason i went with these and then i have a standard golf pride grip no extra tape just a regular size grip there nothing too crazy so that is the wedges my goodness i absolutely love them like obviously it's the archer not the arrow most of the time but when you have a really good arrow you can be a little better I play a combo set in my irons. For my seven, eight, nine, and pitching wedge, I actually have the P7MB irons. The reason I went with the P7MBs is because these are actually the least forgiving irons that TaylorMade makes. They take a lot of precision to hit them. These are the ones that Roy McIlroy plays. He plays a full set of these, but I'm playing a seven, eight, nine in pitching wedge. It just, when it comes down to being, yes, it's less forgiving, but I can be more precise. And whether or not this is a good or bad thing, when I, when I know that it's an aim small, miss small situation, I always strike the ball better. I think we're about a month in and I've hit them so much and they're starting to get broke in. I'm really, really liking them. So P7MB, 789 in pitching wedge and then i have the dynamic gold x100 120 shafts in all of my irons and then i have a standard golf pride grip no extra wraps and man i tell you these things are just sexy as i'll get out i love looking at them that's that for the seven through pitching wedge and then for my four five and six iron i have the p7 mcs and the reason that I wanted that is because these are a little bit more forgiving. These are not necessarily much of a scoring club is a pitching wedge. So, you know, I like just having a little more forgiveness there. I have the same shaft, the Dynamic Gold X100 120 with a standard golf pride grip. And I just love looking down at them. And as you can see, they just, they look really, really good. They're, they're sexy, they're clean. They're just, oh man, I just love them. So that's four, five and six iron. And then for my two iron, there's a couple more adjustments that we made on these clubs that I'm gonna tell you about in a second. But for my two iron, I have the P790. So this thing is an absolute rocket launcher. And I actually was hitting it way too low when I first got it, talked to Trotty, we got it dialed in. I'll tell you about what we did in a second. But Ventus 6X graphite shaft, and they're obviously Fujikura with a standard golf pride grip. And like I said earlier, I was actually launching this club way too low. I couldn't get it to spin much. So we actually bent this club a little bit weak. So it has more loft on it and I'm able to get it in the air a little more. It's made a huge difference. And also, since I have a combo set, Trotty actually made me aware of this. It was important that we matched all of the lofts between my four iron all the way to my pitching wedge. So Trotty did that. He was noticing that I just wasn't getting enough spin with my irons. He went in and we actually bent all of these lofts about one degree weak. So there's more loft on all of these clubs. Helps me to just spin it a little more, get that nice high penetrating ball flight that's spinning. And whenever you have more spin, you have more control. I don't loft jack or anything like that because I, I just don't need that in my life. So that is all the irons. And then get into the good stuff here. The things that everyone really cares about. Let's do three wood first for you guys. I have the Stealth 2 three wood and I've never been much of a three wood guy, but Trotty got this dialed in for me and it is incredible. We actually have a little gap that I'm working on right now between my three wood and my two iron. I'll tell you about that in a second, but Stealth 2 
83 wood. It's set at standard loft, that's where I wanted it. 285 to 290 carry with a little less roll, so that's why it's a little different than driver, but have a Ventus TR7X in this with a standard golf pride grip as well. I really like it. I, I don't necessarily hit three wood a ton, but when I do, it is very comfortable. Now moving on to my driver. This is probably some of the most fun that I've had in a fitting. I have the Stealth 2 Plus in my driver and has the adjustable weight here. It has a weight back here and I it's at nine degrees. It is, the shaft is at standard. I have a Ventus TR7X in my driver as well. So I had it playing around with a couple different shafts and this was the only one that was actually allowing me to spin this driver enough to keep it in the air. <laughs> when they say this driver doesn't spin, it really doesn't spin and I was hitting this thing like 10 feet off the ground and it was it was rough when I first started, but Trotty got me dialed in. And then this one, because I didn't get these, this has just a tailor-made standard grip on there, no extra tape. There's some things about this head that just makes it really, really good. Trotty added some weight and did some really, really cool things. And I am hitting this so good. I'm starting to get comfortable with it and I'm really, really, really liking it. And then for my putter, I'm using the MyTP Collection Soto. It has a 15 gram weight on the heel and the toe. The weighting is really, really good. We actually bent this putter down just a little bit, had a little too much loft on it with how I was rolling it. As a standard KBS Tour putter shaft, and I'm actually gonna get this changed to a stability shaft because I really, really like it. And then I have a Super Stroke. I think this is one of the smallest ones they make. That's my putter, I really, really like it. And then that's everything on the outside of the bag, if anyone cares. I, I wear a glove. This is a leather glove. It's a medium if anybody want to know, but the TP, I think it's too preferred and really, really like it. It's just a really comfortable, well-fitting glove. My rangefinder, it's the Cobalt. You guys know the best rangefinder in golf. I can shoot things at 2,300 yards, which is completely unnecessary on a golf course, but it's cool. For my golf balls, like I was talking about earlier, I needed more spin. So I'm actually playing the TaylorMade TP5, not the TP5X, so it's a more spinny ball. I didn't lose any distance with it, according to TrackMan, which is really cool to see because I was a little worried about that. Just spins a little more, and anytime you have more spin, you have more control. But I have, you know, golf tees in there, golf gloves in there, and that is about it. I usually carry quite a few golf balls. That's my bag for 2023, super pumped about it. And it'll probably stay this way for a little while. I may end up hitting the P7MCs in my entire set. I haven't decided yet. I wanna try those, the MCs in 789 and pitching wedge just to see, but I love it. It's been really cool. The transition has taken some work and I've had to stay patient, get where I'm feeling comfortable with all the clubs and I'm absolutely loving it. So shout out to TaylorMade and shout out to you guys for making this possible. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. A lot of really, really cool things coming up that I'm excited to share with you guys here in 2023. So thank you for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, um, I'm getting bit by an ant. So subscribe right now and we'll see you guys in the next video.